Hi, I'm Danielle. I do too much. I like hair, talking, cosplay, music, art, and stuff. Hello and welcome to Star Puppy. I'm Danielle, your resident weirdo. Thank you so much for today's sponsor, me, aka my Patreon, the Deluxe Weirdness. If you'd like to join the Deluxe Weirdness to get some early access, ad-free content, behind the scenes, and exclusive content, make sure you click the link in the upper right-hand corner or visit the link in the description. Check it out. Today, I'm rekindling, hopefully, my long lost skill of wrapping my hair. Wrapping one's hair is something you do when your hair was straight, or in my case, when my hair was relaxed or permanently chemically straightened. Wrapping is a method of straightened hair preservation to maximize length and duration of the straight style. And I have always sucked at it. <laughs> <laughs> the footage you just saw was my natural hair fluff nugget, which was freshly straightened that night. Oh geez, do you see how far we've come? So here we go, night one. I haven't wrapped my hair since I was literally 12 or something, so <laughs> getting back into the feeling was really challenging. I figured out that I like to wrap to my right over the shoulder, so yay. Please look at this comedy of errors. First of all, I don't own a bristled brush. I haven't needed one for years, so whoops, I guess I'm just gonna use what I have. Why tooth comb? Also, I haven't felt the sensation of a hair tool gliding through my strands in so long. It was like actually kind of disconcerting. I didn't like it. <laughs> My hair is also way thicker than it has been in previous years, so I'm not used to having to deal with my hair in a, like a bunch of little strands. I'm used to dealing with it in like fluffy chunks. <laughs> no, <laughs> ew, <laughs> fluffy chunks. Help. Finally got something again to a wrap, so I sprang into action. But just then, tragedy struck. Unfortunately, I swiveled my scarf a little too exuberantly and it slid right off my head. This destroyed me and I've never recovered. Emotionally, I was shattered. And physically, I was also shattered. This is one of the pieces, the pieces, the pieces of me. All right, here we go, round two with the wrapping of the scarf. I tried to keep things as taut as possible. I've really been taking for granted with my natural hair how easy it is to put my hair in a scarf. When it's all slicky wicky like this, one false move and everything goes down the drain. days that my scarf would always come off in the night so I doubled up. Say hello to one of my two do-rags. Pepper. Can you tell I'm trying my very best to make this work? I even made sure that the tails of my do-rag were flat against my skull as to not disturb or dent the pattern of my silky wilky hair that goes all loosey-goosey with the flim-flam and the bim-bam.
the next day was just as interesting. Just like I had nearly forgotten the art of rapping, I had forgotten about the most direct technique to take it all down. All I remembered is that you have to comb with the grain of the wrap and not against it. So that's what I tried to do, but... <laughs> I was very quickly overwhelmed by the sheer amount of hairs on my head. Like I've said in the past, Fluff Nugget is a mixed bag of a head of hair. That sounds weird. My hair is 4C everywhere, and I have maybe thick density at this point. My hair looks so scalpy all the time, you would think that it is thin density or low density, but it's not. I have a ridiculous amount of hairs, they're just really skinny. Which brings me to my next point, my hair is fine, meaning that each strand of hair is very skinny in and of itself. So, when I had all these hairs flying about like a wicked winter wind, one of my favorite piano pieces, it was a tad overwhelming. But I'll be diggity dang doodled if it doesn't look nice. It did fluff up a little bit, but personally, I love volume. So this was actually a plus for me, and it stayed pretty straight. The ends are a bit floofy. As you can see here. Mm -hmm. But let's just ignore that. Look at how straight it remained. I didn't film night two of wrapping because I wanted to see if I could do it better without having to worry about camera angles. So results were about the same. But as you can see by the face I'm making, these ends are looking fluffier and fluffier. <laughs> My ends were consistently choosing violence, but I chose peace. I did the same technique of taking it down with the grain of the wrap instead of against, and I've gained confidence and patience all in the same blow. Once again, I really like this kind of fluffy-ish, straightish look. It's a little mane-y, it's giving you a little liony. I like it! Now, as you can see, stiffness has, uh, has found me. This was when the humidity was ramping up in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Fortunately, some, some straightness has survived, as you can see, and my wrapping technique has gotten better. Starting with the front temple, I used smaller sections to gently coax all of my hair going in a nice cyclone. Then at the top, I actually combed down and to the front and then whipped it to the right. I suffer from my art. Now at this point, I felt that I had done the best rap of this entire week and I wasn't going to let the scarves go by the wayside. So I took extra special care to really tightly secure both the scarf and the do-rag as flat against the skull, as securely, as taunt, as loving an embrace as I could possibly muster. And with that, I said a little prayer, a little prayer to you, and violence. Just violence. So what happened was Georgia decided to be humid. And that's it. Well, we tried. <laughs> now despite this scathing defeat, I decided to press forward and try to save it. I knew the risks. I knew. But without risk, there is no reward. I did my absolute best took all of my time, even smaller sections, and then at the very finish line, I stumbled. I took a shower at my preferred temperature, which is scalding. Day five, donezo. I'm washing it tonight. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to my lovely Starry Spaniel level patrons. Again, if you'd like to join the Deluxe Weirdness crew, aka my Patreon, make sure you click the link in the description. I upload on Tuesdays on this channel, so make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss an upload. This has been me, Danielle, your resident weirdo, Star Puppy signing out. Say it with me now, Star Puppy. Away! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.